say hello everyone and welcome to another episode of to be released i'm we uh, i guess i should fit fuck me man i completely forgot <laughs> <laughs> that was a failure i forgot that when it's just us i don't have to say anything it's only if well, we got a guest <laughs> it's okay i've been too busy doing okay. fucking dragalia videos so i don't know how to do anything anymore it, it's all right it's all you know You'll learn again one day. Yeah, that's the problem is that the second I feel like, oh, let me try something else, is that I forget about how to do something else completely. <laughs> Which is the the same reason why I get progressively better and then progressively worse again at Legends. It's uh, it's my ultimate issue. Let's talk about my issues, everyone. All right, step one, I have too much of a focus. <laughs> so when I focus on one thing, I forget about everything else. Getting real introspective on today's episode. Oh, yeah. Well, this is the beginning part before we get into the actual Dokkan part, uh, which is uh, the the great segment that I've uh, created, you know, just to make it easier, to give a reason for us to just talk a bit before we actually get oh, into Dokkan. watch the Dokkan part? I always, I tune in for the bullshit at the beginning. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's. I think that's fair. I think that's why uh, our numbers are always so big <laughs> for it to be released. Because it's a Dokkan show where you don't care that much about the Dokkan opinions. <laughs> You're not wrong. No, I'm not. Uh, Alright, let's get into the Dokkan part now. Now that we've officially shit on to be released, it's very <laughs> what it stands for. Let's get into the episode. <clears throat> Today's uh, big boys, uh, this is a pair of big boys. We got the teachings of good and evil, Gowasu and Zamasu. Is that their names? Is that how you pronounce Gowasu? That's correct. All right. Gowasu, yeah. Uh, their leader skill is... Gowas, but we're going to not be that guy. You're not going to be that guy? Please don't be that guy for this. For for this apparently and very important character, uh, Gowasu, who I assumed up until recently was actually the father of Zamasu, but that's actually not the case, is it? I mean, you're not that far off. Like a father figure. He's, he's his mentor. Okay, close enough. Do you actually? Th how are gods made? Actually, do you? Th let's get into how the fact that there uh, are female gods and male gods in Dragon Ball, but they never bring up the fact that how they were made. <laughs> oh, there is lore uh -huh. on how the Kai's are made, and, and I'm ninety percent sure it's that they are fruit from a tree. Fantastic. <laughs> That's a good no good to know that uh Teriyama is doing his best to make it so that none of the gods are romantically interested in each other at all. Oh no, I don't think they You never think that and none of the Kai's looked at what was that one female Kai that died to Majin Buu? Was it South Kai or was it North Kai? The the one of the Supreme Kai. Supreme West Kai, Supreme North Kai. Off of the Kai genderless despite them having male and female appearances i'm gonna call bullshit on that because i want everyone to go look at uh vados and tell me that she's not a woman not a, she's not a kai she's an angel okay fine well let me where's what's that other one let kai me find has giant titties so i'm just Still gonna the say the west supreme kai is clearly a woman yeah no they're yeah no I, they're definitely they, they I get, I, I, unless they're saying that they're like Barbie dolls down there, which maybe she, they are. Maybe she, they has, have... she has Battlefield Diva, so that automatically puts her on <laughs> the same tier of Aurelia of like this is she she is female, so she has the link. Anyway. That's fair. That's fair. You can't argue with that. No, I can't argue with that. And then let's go back to arguing about this card, which I completely got sidetracked from. <laughs> Uh, his leader skill is for uh, the 120% lead for Realm of Gods. His super attack is called the Fierce God Slicer. And his passive skill is called God's Insight. And it gives all allies two key, defense 70%, and then a high chance to evade the enemy's attack, including super attack. And then he himself gets key plus five and attack 100% when attacking an extreme class enemy. And his uh, category is Realm of Gods, Patara, Future Saga, Join Forces, and Time Travelers. And it's just, uh, yeah, it's weird that, uh, I'd, so here's my thing. Zamasu is clearly evil, right? Oh yeah. Like not even, yeah. A hundred million percent evil. 
Yeah. So they're saying that Gawasu is just so good, it balances it. This is the first card ever that I think just deserves a neutral, because both of them oh, are... I'm pretty sure the Zamasu from his card is, like, pre-evil. Before he... Contemplating fo- maybe becoming evil. Before he showed him, like, look at these uh, barbaric people, and now let's go into the future. And then Zamasu I says... Like- <laughs> I like how that was his lesson for regaining faith in mortals. He's like, I know Oh, you don't have a lot of faith in mortals. So let's go to this horrific, retarded warrior race that has no brains. And they're just going to beat each other to death. And let's go watch that shit. That'll make you feel better. It was as if uh, he showed... Uh, if he were to show Zamasu, here's Adam and Eve. And then he sw- then he took him to the future and then showed him Sodom and Gomorrah. It's like, no, <laughs> this is them at their worst. Yeah, it's not helping. <laughs> it's not making him feel any better. No. It's actually, you know, it's funny. It is actually very similar to something like the story of Job, where it's like, uh, God keeps doing evil things, and he goes, look at him. He still praises me, and I guess Gowasu is doing something similar to Zamasu, where it's like, look at these assholes. And then he goes into the future, now look at these assholes. (laughs) Don't you understand the good in people? Yeah, he was like, look at these terrible, terrible people. Um, They really fucking suck, but isn't free will awesome? Yes, he's actually oh, not. He's actually very similar to Hank Hill in which he has a very set ideas and he doesn't actually know how to convey them very well. So it's like, well, this worked for me back in the day. Back in the days of Asu when my uh my the the previous Kai showed me my previous god before me showed me these barbaric assholes, I learned a lesson. So obviously this is going to work on you. Even though Zamasu kind of looks like a millennial compared to him. What I'm saying is that this is obviously a culture clash between ages, and this is what they stand for. Yeah, I mean, Zamasu, he's a he's your stereotypical knight Templar. He's just like, I'm going to do evil, but it's for good. Mm-hmm. Evil, if I'm doing evil for good. And he just is a giant asshole. So Yeah. So good job, Gowasu. And then, of course, their best skill is fine. I think 70%, 70% defense is a lot. <laughs> So I guess specifically when you want to build it around uh, the all Zamasu God Realm team, which is a thing now thanks to Zamasu, uh, the new Zamasu card that came out, I think that would be pretty good. But even on like a regular God team, it's all right. There's nothing wrong with 70% defense to everyone. But other than that, how do you kind of feel about them? I will say their art is kind of bland because they are just standing there. Just kind of looking at you. Um... A three out of five because I like Guasu mm-hmm. as a character, but he's also a giant idiot. So like, huge. To take yeah. him too seriously, he's a big dumbass. Um, a very big. I think that's fair. I think a three out of five is fair to him. I also say his SSR is just him alone. Uh, which I'm trying to look at the art to see if the art is really good by himself, and the answer is looking like. No, it's just him kind of holding his chin. <laughs> uh, his super attack is called One Hand of Revelation, which is funny. But other than that, yeah, that's nothing. Three out of five for him. I think that's fair for that for those pair of boys. And now let's go on to uh, an extremely powerful boy. We have the power of surviving adversity, Future Mai, which is the Dokkan to the old Int Mai that was like all about stunning. So they didn't need to add a new my card. They just were like, "Oh man, we forgot we had a my card. Let's just give her a Dokkan." <laughs> and her... it's pretty funny. I can get behind that. That's yeah. pretty good. And then also, it's for so her leader skill is time travelers category. It's the hundred twenty percent lead with three key, and the same thing goes. At, at this point, if I say the lead, it assumes three key and then attack defense, uh, one hundred twenty whatever and HP. Um, and then also she gives to int types, uh, all int types, she gives 70% to, to them as long as well as the key plus three. So either you're in time travelers or you're an intelligent unit. And then her super attack is the flash grenade. And then her passive skill is called survival plan. And she gives time traveler category allies two key attack and defense 40%. And then she also has the high chance to stun the enemy. And her categories are peppy gals, future saga, and time travelers. Um... 
So this Mai is uh, really good because all they did was take the old Mai and then slap her with an extremely good passive. Uh, I'm giving her a two out of five because of that fucking flash grenade. Uh, because of the because of her super attack. This is the flash grenade. Fuck that shit. Oh, is it because of legends and? Yes. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I will say, you have to also look at this art, though, with her holding the big shotgun. The shotgun is bigger than her. And hang on, let me get let me get this art. All right, hang you on. Got, you gotta look at the shotgun, because, again, the proportions on this shotgun are fucking ridiculous. It is bigger than she is. Forever to find these boys as I'm scrolling down to this giant library of characters. Oh, it's a very big library. I was gonna say, if you could find uh, time travelers, it might be easier. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of fucking characters in this game. Yeah, it's a, it's a, a Dokkan has a lot of characters, and a lot of them are the same characters over again. And yeah. then some of them and a are... lot of them are really bad. Yeah, that too. <laughs> let's uh, let's uh, forget the fact that at most you ever, ever need six units. God, what is that bazooka that she's holding? It's a big fucking gun. It's bigger than is, she is. That is too much gun. See, that's why she's so strong, is that she looked at her gun previously, and then she got a big fucking gun. She's also firing it. Too which much is, gun. You're saying it's too much gun for Mai? You prefer a Mai with a more uh, regular she needs, shotgun? She do, yeah, she needs less gun. That is wild. It is a big fucking gun. That's the BFG uh, prototype. <laughs> <laughs> this, is what she, this is why she's so good now, and why she can take it down Samasu. But yeah, that's kind of my. She's a she's a great uh, support she's the, unit. The next full horse, her fucking superpower gun. Oh my god, yes! I would love nothing more if you could just <laughs> put her. That's her power. It's gun. She doesn't need a stand. Actually, her stand is uh is trunks. She just summons trunks. <laughs> uh, the size of that shotgun leads me to believe that is the stand. <laughs> the gun is the stand. Oh, so wait, when she she puts up the gun and then it, behind her is a is a is a is a spirit gun. Yeah, an e even bigger gun. Oh, that'd be so good because it's in, like in the background, but it's as big as like uh, arson. So it's just a really big fucking <laughs> shotgun behind her. <laughs> oh, I would love this. I, if there was anyone out there with mod abilities to get Mai into the game and then have her have a giant ass shotgun, please do Stand it. Stand is just, is just Barrel Dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh, but the Japanese one where it's actually guns. Where it's actually three barrels off for a face. Yeah, it's not it's not like laser cannons, it's actual fucking revolver guns. Oh, that'd be really good. What I'm saying is is that I really like Mai and I really like how they've dedicated the fact that she's just very good with the shotgun. <laughs> It's not even like, oh, she has this crazy variety of weapons. It's like, no, she just has this shotgun. No, they've officially... She she took what was basically the joke with the farmer with a shotgun, and she has fully realized it. Because they realized that farmer with a shotgun can never actually be a character, but then they made Mai, who is just a girl with a shotgun. Ah, oh, she's fantastic. Anyway, let's get down to it. Uh, do you, Does that change your two out of five at all? Seeing no. how big the gun is, no, still right. a two out of five. I'm gonna go four out of five. So that that brings her down to a three out of five average right there. Uh, very a very uh fantastic supporting boy. If you I you know what I learned actually out of since her release, I have not pulled one copy of Int My. Gosh, really? What? How even? I have only ever pulled the agility one. So sucks. She's terrible. She is, it is very terrible. She's, they gave me the bad Mai, they didn't give me the good Mai. <laughs> Which is unfortunate, but hey, what can you do? Yeah, you of all people should get the good Mai. I know, right? I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of all Dragon Ball games realizing that uh, people like Mai, so let's just make Mai good. <laughs> like, let's just, uh, let's just stop beating around the bush here, people. Nobody gives a shit. Especially that they... with, with Dokkan that does not have a history of being kind to its female characters. No. 
It has, uh, except for the fact that they just did release the world's strongest female character that has actually invalidated all of Super Battle Road for Peachy Peachy Gals because Peachy Peachy Gals was not assuming that you had a good female unit. So it was already pretty easy to beat, but then they introduced this, what was basically a one-ton behemoth into the fight, and it completely invalidates <laughs> it. All right, and I think that, yeah, that's everyone here for the big boy scale. Let's get into the... That was actually a very quick, you know, scale. That's the fastest we've ever scaled units. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, it's a big shame that we don't have... Uh, the uh family kamehameha trio so chances are as soon as we post as soon as i post this tomorrow they're gonna release the info and then i'm gonna and feel like it is gonna drop every time it's gonna drop and then it, it will be revealed that active skills are to be released and then i'll have a quiet happy moment as i've been waiting all day for them to <laughs> to announce that <laughs> you watch mark my words Global's right, gonna do it. They're global first, right? It's global first, so that makes me feel like uh, they're gonna not release the active skills yet. <laughs> or yeah, that, or oh, right, because watch them not release it on Japan either, and everyone's just like, "Why would we pull for this?" Oh man, that would completely fuck it over. Like, hey, I'm all for fucking up. Actually, you know what? I'm not even gonna have this damn unit. So why do I give a fuck? Just burn it all down. <laughs> I'm not going to pull any of these Turn fuckers. It all down. Who needs this shit? Exactly. I wasted all of my stones trying to get the LR girls, and I got some dumbass babies, so... What do I care? Now, let me go find the questions. It is question time. Again, you can ask a question by leaving it in um, the YouTube comments, or you can just wait for me to ask for them on Twitter. I don't think we had any YouTube questions yet. But that's because... Well, we did have one person that said, thank you for answering my questions, so there we go. Uh, so it's question time. Are you ready, Zen? Yes. All right. First question comes in from TFLT, and he, that's Toaster of Fun. And he would ask, would you like to try one of our $20 family Phillips this evening? And I believe he is talking about the KFC $20 family Phillips. Seems like Say a... that I want to have diarrhea tonight. No. I'm, you know, it's been a good couple, like, three months since I had KFC, so I think I'm good to try it again. That is about how much time it takes between KFC meals. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I'm not all about the whole eat KFC every single day life because I want to live past 60 at least. I'm trying. <laughs> Let me I just can't say. I remember it. the last time that I had KFC, and I don't think I've ever been happier with my relationship with KFC. Hmm. I feel like I have a uh, waning interest, which is that after I've eaten KFC, I never want to see KFC again. But then enough time will pass, and I'll feel like, you know what? It's time. It's time to try again. <laughs> Maybe I'm it's willing different. to give it another chance. Exactly. So talk to me later about that $20 fill-up. Let, let me see how I feel a little bit later. <laughs> we'll see how bad I'm feeling tonight. Uh, thank you for the question. Next question comes in from Commander Kenny, and he asks, what's your favorite fast food place? It's like a stacked question in comparison to the last one. Yeah, it is. So, obviously, KFC is not on the not on the list. Uh, I don't know if this... You know what? It has a drive-in, so I'm going to consider it fast food. Um, I'm going to say Pollo Loco, because I am able to eat Pollo Loco nonstop and never have a problem with it. I get that the impressive. Yeah, I get the same combo every single time: two piece breast and a wing, rice and beans, and I ate that for about uh, four years straight. And then Jesus we, fuck. and then probably a little bit longer. Actually, it was through college, so probably around six, seven, eight years, aroundish that many, around that much time until we had to unfortunately move, and that was no longer near the Pollo Loco. But even now, when I go to Pollo Loco, that's the exact same thing. Every other fast food place I ever go to, I have to change what I eat because then I'll get tired of it. <laughs> but for, um, for Pollo Loco, it's the same thing over and over and over again. No, no issues. What but What's the What's the qualifier here for for fast food? Does it have to have a drive through? Is that Was that what we're using? Yes, it has to have a drive through. And it has to be fast. So if you have to wait more than uh, 20 minutes, it's not fast food. What has 20 
minute wait time that also has a drive through. Ta- not Tommy. Not Tommy's. Um, in and out during specific times. Fair enough. Um, either Chick Fil A or Cookout. Mm. Now I don't. Uh, there is. I believe there's Chick Fil A's in California, and I've had. I don't think I've ever had it though. I think it's always been my family eats it, and then I just never ended up having any. It's pretty good. It's greasy as fuck, but it's mm. pretty good. I would like to try it one day. Taste the the the, the that meat. That fabled day where we're playing Donkey Kong Country. We'll go get Chick Fil A. All right. Yeah, we'll get Donkey. We'll get uh Chick Fil A. <laughs> play Donkey Kong Country. I'll talk about how man, this feels weird supporting this place, and then I'll still eat it because fuck that. Good food is good food. Yeah, I mean, you know, politics you know, and whatever. But like, fuck, it's really good, and it's like right next to one of my districts that I have to go to for work. Oh, that's right. Like, I have to. I mean, I get free lunch when I travel for work, so it's like, I mean, it's right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. yeah I'm. All, you know what? I'm down for that. If you, if <laughs> whatever, if food is good, then eat the food, <laughs> especially if that's like what's the best thing near you. I'm not in an anti eat food thing, uh, but I will feel we- weird eating it. But that does not change the fact that I am still eating it. <laughs> so who cares? Yeah, I, I have my limits with with battles that I want to fight, and food is not one of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of on the same boat there. And then I don't think I've ever heard of the other place you mentioned. What what kind of food is there? Yeah, they have it's like a fucking there's no inside portion, so it's all just drive through and then a walk up type deal. Uh-huh. And they just have like every food. They have like burgers, hot dogs, quesadillas, um all that every, like fucking all that kind of shit. Wow. All right. It's like a uh it's like every shitty stand on a New York street all combined into one building. That sounds all right. And that was it's pretty good. Yeah, I right. like it. I will say I'll also give a special shout out. They're not fast food because I don't think they're even technically legal. But in California, have you ever heard of Tommy's? No. So Tommy's is a, a chain of uh, burger places that are also fast food where uh, they sell uh chili cheeseburgers and fries and that's basically all i ever get there but when tommy's was coming up a bunch of bootleg tommy's showed up and they took tommy's tommy's name but they changed it slightly and sold kind of the same thing so at my mall there was a place called tommy's but with an apostrophe s instead of the regular tommy's which is spelled apostrophe yeah, so they they're not affiliated with them at all. They're actually a bunch of bootleg places that are just trading on the fact that people know what Tommy's are. So you look at the sign and go, "Oh, it's a Tommy's. It's not Tommy's. It's a bootleg place." It had some of the best chili cheese fries I've ever had until they eventually uh, shut it down for whatever reason. I was also able to get a I was also able to get a discount there because I used to work at a mall. I used to work for ROP. Uh, I used to work at a child store where I was forced to work in the back because I was uh, scaring the children in the front. Uh, but during my breaks there, I would go to get Tommy's and they would go like, oh, okay, he works here because he has the little pin and then they would give me a discount. And then when I stopped working there for about six years after, up until it, it eventually closed down, they would see me and they would assume I still worked at the mall. Perfect. Yeah, so every capitalize. Yeah, and one time my sister was like, "Okay, listen." My sister was there, and she never knew that this happened. So I went to where I'm like, "All right, listen. They're gonna give me a discount. I'm gonna need you to play it cool. Make it seem like I'm supposed to get this discount. Okay? <laughs> Don't fuck this up for me. Don't take this from me. Don't take this from me. I really like this food, but it's kind of expensive. But I like the discount on it. So there you go. That's fat fast food places." Thank you for the question, Commander Kenny. Next question comes in from Ignite Cracker, and then it has like a mo- monocle attack on. Is it attack on T? Attack on Titan. Your name is too goddamn long. Uh, when are you playing Attack on Titan's Tactics? A O T T. I don't. Uh, so, this is in no way to say that I think Attack on Titans is bad. I just don't watch Attack on Titans, so I kind of can't get into a game that's all about. Attack on Titans? I'll play crap. Well, that's your excuse. That's why you say it. But my reason is because specifically I don't have very much attachment to the Attack on Titans IP. It's similar to, I guess, I'm how... Sure, I'm sure the game and the show is fine. I just don't give a shit about it. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, 
so the answer from both of us is kind of like looking like never <laughs> somewhere between um definitely never if they do a crossover with dragon quest and they add die i'll play attack on titans tactics <laughs> That's that's my one. That's my one. If they add him, <laughs> re-rolling, <laughs> getting the boy. That's funny. Secure the boy always. Always. Die. If you want me to start your game, add die. That's, that's why Smash Bros. is gonna fuck up when they add Dragon Quest hero. It should just be die. They are already fucking up because Jump Force got die. Wouldn't it be a fantastic year <laughs> if we, if die were to appear in Smash Brothers and Jump Force? Oh, Lord. Yeah, it'd be pretty great. Thank you for the question, though. And next, uh, keep up with the hustle, by the way. Congratulations on all your uh, success on promoting Attack on Titan Tactics. Yeah, enjoy that. It's yeah. good stuff. It's always cool when people support you when you have a, a game you love to play. I think that's really awesome. Uh, next question comes in from Trioptic Gaming, And he says, do you have any comments for this? And I believe it is a... Uh, a drawing of Izanagi that he has drawn from Persona 4. Izanagi the boss? The fight, the final fight? That's Izanami. Oh, you use Persona. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your first Persona, Izanagi. Yeah. Izanagi! That's how he says it. <laughs> but yeah, he's... I can't see it, but I'm sure you did real good. Yeah, I think I'd say this is a really good job. It looks like he actually hand like hand colored it, which means that it was not a digital paint, uh, not a digital uh, coloring in. So he actually did it by the old way. <laughs> of he using... actually fought that shit on his own. Yeah, so that's big props for you because I I'm someone who actually likes to draw and I could never, I would never actually do that because it's a pain in the fucking ass for me. So yeah, there's my con. That's our those are our comments for that. Next question comes in from... Thank you for the question. Thank you question comes in from Shade. And he says, how's the weather? Uh, and then I'll say, the weather is fucking hot. It's somewhere between fucking hot and not hot yet. So it's kind of annoying for specifically <laughs> recording. Oh, because you don't have, like, central air? Is that is that the problem? Listen, man, I don't want to get into what the fuck's up with the air conditioning in this goddamn house. I don't <laughs> feel it like... like a serious story uh uh, again a big big appreciation for my uncle for letting us live here and as until as long as i am here i will not complain about anything that much (laughs) but when the day comes but when the day comes then we'll talk about it so how about that hold on to this for like another year as we try and build up everything Uh, how about how about you zen how's the weather over there uh, it's still annoying because, like, you wake up and it's nice, and you're like, fuck, yeah, this is nice. And then you leave work for, like, lunch break or something, and you're like, oh, it's... And then you come out at 5 at the end of the day to go home, and, like, you can't even get in your car for 10 minutes because it's just gonna cook you alive. Oh, that fucking sucks. I hate that. I hate the heat. I don't understand people who, like, are, like, anti-cold. It just doesn't make any sense to me. I much prefer being cold to being hot. Like I, I would rather just be comfortable than I, either one. But being hot is so much worse than being cold. Oh, yeah. You feel like you're sweating all over, and then you got like a weird chill going down, and then you're just annoyed at everyone because it's hot, so you feel like lashing out at somebody. And then you yell at someone because you're angry, but it's because you're hot, not because you're actually <laughs> angry with them. Yeah, and like it, Yeah, it just feels miserable. Like... Yeah, you can no. always get warmer. Like it's so much easier to get warmer than it is to get cooler. Exactly, exactly. That's how I feel too. Man, the fucking weather. Well, there, there you go. There's the answer to your question. Thanks. Thank you for the question. And the next question comes in from <laughs> Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Johan, who says, "When do you think uh, AGL Zamasu is coming to global?" And then he has a little picture of what looks like a. Uh, Merge Zamasu drinking a tea. And I'm going to say those are tears because that's supposed to be the inner working of our friend uh, Johan, who was unable to pull into Goku Black. Oh, so he's he's upset that he didn't get Goku Black and now he's setting his sights on the second Zamasu. Uh, I believe he's actually setting his sights to the good Goku Black banner. 
Oh, with the with the red one. No, yeah, no, the AGL Zimon. No, I'm just saying the uh, the 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 global current Int Zimasu, uh, Int Zimasu, Int Goku Black Banner fucking sucks ass. Oh well, doesn't that character also suck ass? It kind of depends. If it depends, uh, depends Is that on the a nice way of saying yes because the guy that asked the question really wants him. I think he understands the fact that uh, uh, Goku Black is not looked on favorably, but it's specifically because he's a transforming unit that takes fucking forever to actually transform. That's oh, why that's he's stupid. yeah. So he that's why he's kind of bad. That's it's kind of also like saying like, well, he still gets the job done. So <laughs> it's kind of the Dokkan problem. So yes, he is bad, but also you win regardless. Um, he, he's he's Dokkan style bad, where nobody is bad, but also everyone is bad. Exactly. Uh, but there's one thing you can agree on is that that banner fucking sucks ass because there's no medals. So why pull? Why is anyone in global pulling if there's no medals? <laughs> if you guys are there's pulling no medals on that banner, no, because global doesn't have medals yet. Oh, global doesn't have it yet. Oh, no. So this has been the big problem for global that we haven't really talked about, which we I guess we can talk about now. Global has not had medals for months. So why is anyone in global pulling? God, they don't have medals. No, and the worst thing is is that there's a large <laughs> amount of them that know that medals is coming. But <laughs> they keep throwing banners out there, and they're like, well, so we have to hit number one somehow, and then they go pulling on the banners regardless. This is such a dick move. It is an unbelievable Metals dick move. all at the same time. Yeah, and I think, I forget, I think they're coming close to the banner that releases medals. I believe it's the LR Super Saiyan 4 and Super Saiyan... Yeah. Uh, it is. But they're going to have to deal yeah. with the fact that they're going to get the LR family coming on me off first. Because they're but getting no, them. Oh my god, that banner's not going to have medals. It's not going to have medals. So here's a very big, a potentially high banner with the first active skills ever coming to global. By the way, the next one, that the next banner is going to have medals. That's so fucked, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's... It's not. Why do people play global? <laughs> what do you get out of it? I will say until they added medals, which I think is something like as a JP player, I was like, man, medals. Uh, this is kind of a weird thing that come out of nowhere. Uh, but whatever, I guess I'll deal with them. I've kind of come to terms with the fact that, okay, medals. Eventually I'll get a unit someday because Dokkan gives enough stones, I guess, to do enough multis. But imagine global, who up to this point, they had an entire plan and the plan did not specifically say that medals were ever going to be a thing. <laughs> and then they dropped yeah, something. That's so fucked up. And then they dropped something so big that it's like, oh, well, fuck. If I pull, if I save all my stones, here's the actual thing. If you save all your stones and you wait for that banner, then you're going to have a bunch of medals and you could just buy the old units that you never got, right? That's the plan. That's the, that's the idea. But then the thing that they don't, they didn't factor into it is that what if hap what happens when global gets something that japan did not get <laughs> so it's it's a fuck situation i think there's like no there's really no good way out of it i feel sorry yeah, that's for a mess because really like global was doing perfectly i think they kind of just accept the fact that they're kind of behind for the most part and it was kind of a dick move when <laughs> Uh, when Japan finally got uh, hit, that they came with an extremely powerful LR right afterwards <laughs> that fit into his category. It was good on Hit's team, right? Yeah, so Global never got that and then I think they're okay with the fact of like, well they're not okay with the fact they were kind of pissed off because they were like, well we only got fucking Hit. Um, but yeah, it's... I don't know, man. Playing Global is... I guess the people who like playing Global... Are similar to someone like me who uh, plays fake go na you just like that shit in english and you're kind of fine with the fact that everything's delayed because you can plan your stuff better and you don't have to be blindsided by the fact of like oh by the way it's golden week so here's and also it's the hasten periods over so here's an lr banner after all your stones is gone they never have to be blindsided by stuff like that. But that also doesn't... The, the shitty thing that happens is that <laughs> Dokkan finds a way to blindside them regardless. Yeah, it really feels like they really went out of their way. They're like, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah. It's Englishman. Take that. Here you go. Here's your Mac Daddy of Justice. I hope it was worth it. <laughs> it's, yeah, so... 
Uh, good luck to all global players. And again, Johan, we have no idea when the fuck he's coming to global because, <laughs> yay. Good point. Uh, the 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 actual like um global doesn't actually follow the plan one hundred percent. I believe Shade actually answered and said maybe July, but even then, I don't know. I he's would... going to come to global as soon as it is inconvenient for you for that to happen. Yeah. So, good luck saving them stones, because let me tell you, it's gonna be a pain in the ass. A big pain in the ass. Uh, but thank you for the question. And also thank you for letting us talk about Global. Because people have stopped asking us questions about Global. I wonder why. <laughs> yeah. Weird. They treat their players so well. I know. And to be fair, we we also don't treat Global players all that great. <laughs> but you know what? I think at this point we've both come to the understanding of like, nothing we do will ever be as bad as what Dokkan does to them. Yeah. I mean, Jesus, man. Yeah. This, I mean, it's kind of bad that we're so mean to them, though, because it feels like picking on a kid who's already down. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's like, you see a kid get picked on, like, in the cafeteria, and then you come out, and you're like, haha, you got picked on, on fucking yeah. loser. At this point, it's like, it's like, we, like, kick them over, but, like, you know how, like, it's like, uh, someone's like, hey, Global, come over, and then we push them over our friend, and then they're on the ground, but then actual Dokkan, who is supposed to be the adult of the situation, sees that he's, like, prone, and then run up, runs up to him, and then just kicks him right in the fucking face. <laughs> and then we're, what, we're, then we're looking at him going, like, dude, what the hell? <laughs> You're not supposed to do that. Yeah, you're supposed to help. Look, for God's sake, do something. You're supposed to be better. Come on, give them something. Come on, be nice. And then they're like, here you go, here's five stones. <laughs> when everyone was like, oh my god, I can't wait for this compensation. We're going to get like at least 100 stones. And it was like five. Five stones for all the glitches. Five, by the way, five stones is better than, is a better meme than 300 stones because now oh, everyone so much better it's so much better because now it's finally like hey remember all those times where you guys were talking about like oh here comes 300 stones that was you looking faithfully here's the actual thing here's five fucking stones <laughs> uh the great thing about that is i think i saw i forget who it was i want to say it's maybe it was the hall and josh made a bet Always with someone the hall and josh. They, they, they made a bet with someone it was like I think the person said, there's no way that we're getting more than 10 stones for this. And then they oh, said... Oh, you're right. But they, they had to buy him shit, didn't they? Yeah, no, they're like... They backed out of that. A Ginta order. It's like, we have to, uh, we'll give you a Ginta order if, uh, it's, if it's any more. And then it turned out to be five stones. And I was just watching going like, oh, God. They're going to figure out a way to back out of this because of the wording. But God damn it, do they deserve to pay for that, dude? Oh, you know they backed out of it. Oh, damn. I, that sucks. They totally should have paid that guy. They, they got should fucked. Po- Actually, we are now standing in accord with that guy. That guy, get Whoever at that us. that guy is, we're on your side. You show them this shit and say they owe you some fucking money. Today's title is Sahal and Josh need to pay up. To pay whoever that guy is. And we'll stand with that guy until he gets his, uh, he gets his vendor. He gets his vendor stones. Everybody, and... please have solidarity with that guy. Exactly. Shout outs to that guy. Uh, let's go on to the next question which is from Marshall Miles, who asks, do you like cheesecake? Yes. Yeah. I think... Uh, Depends on what topping, though, because cheesecake is a little rich. So, like, I like, like, cherry. Like, it's got a little bit of bitterness to it in the so that you can be overwhelmed by how rich the cheesecake is. I think I've only ever had Oreo cheesecake. Oreo crust or Oreo topping? I want to say it was crust. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I like that. That was pretty good. But yeah, cheesecake, cheesecake, cheesecake is good. Uh, cheesecake as a kid, I know, is was one of those foods of like... So again, I was a very, like, I guess the nicest way to put it is a dumb child uh, growing up. So when I saw cheesecake, I was like, who wants a cake made out of cheese? Not realizing that everything I like is kind of made out of cheese. <laughs> but I thought it tasted like Kraft Singles, but I, so I never had it. So I was like, who wants Kraft Singles but sweet? How would it taste like, by the way, for anybody watching? Uh, it would probably taste like... Okay, so what... Man, Kraft Singles taste kind of like if industry could fit in your mouth. 
Yeah, if if you could eat the process of like industrialization, that's what craft singles are. Yeah. Here's another fun story about me and craft singles. For the longest time my mom would make me as a kid a cheese sandwich. And eventually it got to the point where I'm like, I think I'm old enough. I'm going to make a cheese sandwich. So then I would make a cheese sandwich and then I'd put it on there and I would start biting into the, I would toast the bread and then I'd put the craft singles on it. I'm like, this tastes terrible. Why do my, why do my cheese sandwiches taste like shit? But my mom's is really good. And so eventually I was like, mom, can you make me a cheese sandwich? And then I looked at her make the cheese sandwich and I realized the step that I was missing was that uh, she melted the cheese. I was putting dry ass <laughs> single cheese and then nothing else on the sandwich. Wait, you you don't mean a grilled cheese? You mean literally bread with cheese in the middle of it? Yeah, that's all what I would put into it. <laughs> I was like, oh, I guess, I guess maybe the, the bread will warm up the cheese and it'll make it all melty. It never happened. I missed the part where Jesus. I was like... I missed the part where, well, specifically she just put it in the microwave because uh, we didn't have time for that grill life. But either way, it got the cheese melted. <laughs> so I eventually learned, like, oh, I've been an idiot this entire time. I've I've been missing the important step, which is melt cheese. <laughs> melt the cheese. It's a three-step process. It's get toast, uh, put cheese, melt cheese. And I skipped the third step and just started, went straight to eating it. That's fucking gross. It's It was terrible. Uh, that I hope that brings you more into mind about what Kid Wokey was like. Uh, I think one time I, when I was cooking eggs, I, I realized the first time I cooked eggs, I was like, this is really good. I followed the steps perfectly. And then somewhere around the line, I got worse at making eggs. And by the end of it, I, I, the last time I tried cooking eggs, I tasted it. And I was like, this tastes like oil. I've, I'm completely fucked up. Like oil. Yeah, I put too much oil into it so that so the the egg ended up tasting all like, you know how when you make scrambled eggs, it's supposed to be kind of fluffy. Yes. Uh, so when I made it, it was all runny, and kind of disgusting. Oh God, runny eggs are the grossest shit. I know some people that like that. It's fucking gross. No, I was like, no, thank you. This is all bad. Uh, it's it's horrible. But yeah, there you go. I hope. Thank you for the question about do you like cheesecake. I hope you understand more about uh, me and cheese. Next question goes from. Wonderful history. Yeah, great history. We could fill the entire podcast about my dumbass kid stories. Did I ever tell you the story? I think I've said this before about uh, my dad and Halloween. <laughs> uh, about how. Um, I don't believe so. So one time, um, so you remember when you were a kid, there was like, there would be like little, like I was in elementary school. Um, there would be like a little carnival games where you would play and then you would get candy. So, so for my elementary school specifically, we did this thing where, um, the kids on Halloween or the day before Halloween, Basically, the last time we showed up before Halloween actually happened when there was like a big uh, whatever, uh, my dad was with me and he was only the only one with me. He was going to look over me as I kind of just went around having fun. So I would play a bunch of games and then I would win candy. So I didn't want to carry all the candy with me because I didn't have a bag on me. So what would I do is that I would win the candy and then I would go to my dad who was waiting specifically at a uh, table for me. And I'd be like, okay, I would come back, I would drop off my uh, candy and then I would go off and go, you know, go have more adventures with my candy. Try and win more candy so when I would, at the end of the day, I would gather up all my candy and then go home. Uh, so I do this for about maybe three hours, something like that. Three hours in kid time feels about like an entire day's work back then. <laughs> so for three hours, I ga gather up candy and then I leave my candy by my dad. And then, um, the last 30 minutes I'm out of tickets. So I go back to my dad. My dad is at my table and all the giant pile of candy that I've won is gone. And I go, dad. Where's my candy? Who took my candy? And my dad looks at me as he's finishing eating a candy bar and goes, I thought you were leaving those for me. <laughs> and now at this point, I'm realizing that I've been betrayed by my father. And with tears in my eyes, I go, no, that candy was for me. <laughs> and so <laughs> we leave the school, me crying with me having no candy. 
a hard life. Oh, it's a very hard life. And then he, I don't think he ever apologized for that either. I think he just kind of found it funny. <laughs> It is funny. It is funny. I was like, what kind of man? Like, I don't you know. My th- you know what? There, there you go. There's my <laughs> my father. Uh, I could. Uh, th- there's a story about my dad and candy. Uh, another kid wokey story. <laughs> Fun times. This next question comes in from uh, 98 Luck. Hashtag play JoJo Pitter Patter Pop. I like this guy already. Yeah. And he says, um, Dokkan question, is there a unit that isn't very good that you still enjoy using? And then non-Dokkan question, have you ever played Naruto Shinobi Collection? And if so, where would you put it on a gacha tier list? Um, so for the first question, uh, I believe the unit that I like using a whole bunch that are bad is technically t- Tech and Int Aureli. They're extremely terrible units. <laughs> so wait, does it have to be bad? Like god awful or can it just be like wow that's not very good i think it's uh they're just not very good but you still like using them it's forming goku transforming goku for you yeah i could see that it's sick he is pretty sick mine specifically just comes from a place of like i like the fact that into really throws shit at people and it's pretty funny and teka really is dressed up as goku and she does the kamiyamiya which is really uh, cute, but they're both terrible units. There's like no, there's no way around it. They're bad. Um, but yeah, transforming Goku is a unit that constantly gets shit on for sure. Which I have never. Yeah, people do not like him. People do not like him at all. Uh, which is, I guess, kind of funny. But I have never under. I've, I also like using transforming Goku. Is what I'm trying to say. I've never really understood the hate. And as for the next question is, have you ever played Naruto Shinobi Collection? Have you, I don't know. Have I? Is that no, almost certainly not. No. Have you played it? The JP only Naruto game. Huh. It's not the one where it's like you build a, a village, right? That's Ninja Voltage. My bad. I believe that is Naruto X Boruto. Never Google that. Okay, you got <laughs> Ninja Voltage. Yeah. Hmm uh yeah no sorry i've never played it and then did you play it no but i'm still gonna rank it low on a gacha tier list because it's naruto mm, but what if it's only part one naruto it's not oh. it's not because it's naruto <laughs> yeah it's not yeah i'm sure there's about seven madara units somewhere in there oh i'm sure there's a lot more than seven i believe blazing is like on what their 15th Based off Blazing of, now, I think they have a new policy of just every other banner is Madara. I only know if Madara... Final, Final Valley Sasuke, Madara, Final Valley, Final Valley Naruto, Madara, then the kid versions of the Final Valley fight, and then Madara. I only ever know if they add another Madara because the hall will automatically say, well, I can't believe they're releasing another Madara. Yeah, the hall does this weird thing with Blazing where he's like, I can't believe people still play this fucking game. And then he tweets about every data download. <laughs> Whatever. He's a, he is a gotcha Ronin. He, he goes wherever his sword needs yeah, him. He, <laughs> he goes wherever his Twitter feed is at the time. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, I go. I hope that answers your question for that. Next question comes in from, thank you for the question. Next question comes in from Neptune who says, why does the Minecraft zombie say, bruh, and I'll I'll gladly admit right now I have never played Minecraft. Really, never That's once. Almost kind of impressive. Well, to be fair, when Minecraft came out, it was during a time where, uh, what's the best way of saying? I don't know. I don't know why, but I had an extreme dislike of uh, Minecraft from like kind of the start. And eventually, I've kind of waned to the point of like, hey man, let them play whatever they want. But when it first came out. Just, like, nothing about it seemed interesting. It was, like, the first te- technical signs of, like, an early access game because it wasn't finished. So I was like, maybe when it's done, I'll buy it. And then when my friends told me, like, it's about to be released and also it's going to be $20, I was like, for that fucking game? <laughs> and I never bought it. <laughs> so it's for petty reasons. I will, I'll gladly admit right now, it's for petty-ass reasons, but I never played Minecraft. <laughs> I have played it, but not ex- um it's it, it's a nice game for like and, and it's 
and you're off work for like the next three days alone and there's nobody to annoy you and you're just gonna sit around and fucking minecraft a little bit yeah but uh it's that's about it that's about the only enjoyment you, you can get out of that hmm. i can see that especially since i had a good my good good member of the Mew Mew force uh captain soldier 76 was a big minecraft fan and i remember in college watching him play minecraft when we were supposed to be working <laughs> like on uh, our school project or whatever He's like, let me log into the school's computer and play Minecraft real quick. Respect then, that. Yeah. You have to respect the hustle. He actually, he respected that hustle. And then we would go like, dude, shouldn't you be doing something? He's like, but I'm building up my fort, bro. And then he would laugh and then continue building. <laughs> it's pretty great. Uh, but as for why do they go bruh, uh, it's because they like to go bruh. It's like real bro just, That's what they do, yeah. Yeah. Don't question it. Uh, next person comes in. Next question. Next person. Thank you for the question. Next question comes in from my Nighthawk who asks, what's your ideal Captain Tsubasa card in Dokkan? And then his other follow-up question is, also, if Xenron is on the podcast, can we get some more mod stories? Uh, the answer for the first question is, just import the version that is in uh, Ore Collection. So I was going to say, too. <laughs> So that would mean the uh, what he does, that would mean everyone would get basically key plus three, but only if they're an athlete. And then there would be a new category called athletes, and uh, Mihawk would be in it. So Mihawk would also be on the banner <laughs> along with Captain it would Subasa. Only be, it would be Subasa, Mihawk, and Tracksuit Gohan. Oh, it'd be perfect. And then later on, we could have a Dokkan Fest for... Actually, if Dokkan, I would put Dokkan on my top list if it just slowly started adding everyone from or Collection. <laughs> yeah, I was most all the kid. I would re-roll for Giorno and Bruno. You bet I would. An AOE uh, Bobobo, who literally all he does is like <laughs> stop everyone from doing anything. 100% stun. 100% stun, even if they have anti-stun. So Bobobo just goes through the protection. <laughs> and then he attacks three times in a row, but every single special attack is something different. But yeah, the ideal Captain Tsubasa card is what Captain Tsubasa does in War Collection, but just put it over into, uh, uh, into Dokkan. So there'd be an athlete support. As you said, Tracksuit Gohan would be in there, and as would uh, Mihawk, who would be joining. Uh, he would be in the banner with him. Tracksuit 18, I think, is, is a thing as well. A lot of oh, athletes yeah. out here. Yeah, Tracksuit 18, for sure. Yeah. That, that would be a contentious category. That would be a category where people will <laughs> argue about the merits of putting some people in over the other one. It's like, well, <laughs> technically shouldn't Teen Gohan be in there since he took that baseball to the head? It's like, well, he was very shitty at <laughs> sports. Just because he's strong doesn't mean he's a good athlete. Martial artists, athletes? Oh, you know what? That's a good... Oh, you know what? Technically speaking, yes, because Sumo Boy was in athletes. The... Um... Yeah, I forget the name of him, but yeah, he was an athlete, so I think they count. Again, this is something that we'll have to discuss widely when Captain Tsubasa is eventually released into Dokkan. Yeah, we'll cover that on the episode where he comes out. Exactly. And then the next, uh, the, the as for the other question, so I've been telling a bunch of mod stories back from when, uh, so as you know, when I stepped down from being a mod and I'm no longer a mod, I told some stories, specifically the one where, uh, remember how we used to do, uh, we had to used to, for questions thread and for team building mega thread, we had to actually go in there and change the, um, the, uh, the link. Yes. One time I changed the link and accidentally put up, uh, put up a Reddit post of some lady's ass blog of <laughs> <laughs> So it was like her ass Reddit, and then it was a Reddit dedicated to her, but she was the only member of it. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of my mod stories. Blog. It was very hard. The point is, is that when I the, when I clicked on team building mega thread, it t took it to a picture of a giant woman's ass. Why did you have that link? I didn't have that link. The thing is that you know when you had I used to, okay. So here's another thing. I didn't know how to use Reddit when I first started. So what I had to what I used to do was that I would manually type it in. I wouldn't copy and paste it. I would actually have to type in the um, the URL. And I never told anyone that I couldn't do it. I just said that I would do it. So one time I fucked up and I capitalized something that shouldn't have been capitalized, and then it took it to that lady's Reddit. That's funny. 
Yes. So that was one of my mod stories. I was going to say, now that you're here, you can give us one of your mod stories for when you were a mod. I'll say your mod stories can vary because you had some interesting times as a mod. Yeah. I hmm. Remember, I don't know. Well, I don't know how active you were with like the mod goings around. I might still be. Let me see if I even know how to log into Reddit anymore because I'd never remember what my fucking Reddit password is. I have to fucking... Damn it, shit. Okay, I have to guess what my... Oh, please be correct. Okay. Um, remember when someone made the fucking subreddit Violet Fish and Zen Suck Ass? <laughs> no! What? Okay, yeah. It's a, it's a subreddit that's just called um, reddit.com slash r slash dokkan mods nazi. <laughs> and the summary of the subreddit was like that Violet, me, and Fish were the worst thing that ever happened to the world. <laughs> oh, and I, I think the guy that made it was that dude who had like a really good box, but he was really shitty like all the time. Oh, yeah, I remember or, that guy. So long. But I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure you remember that guy. He had a trunk. He was avatar. one of those dudes that was like. It was like, well, it's just a fucking joke. <laughs> Constantly got banned. Yeah. Yeah. But like immediately, it, like all the people who got the, the people who made, like went to Grievers Reddit, like posted in there. Fish applied. Uh, um, and it, it, as because he called it a hate subreddit, which to be fair, it was. It was. And so Reddit gave it to us. Wow. <laughs> so are you a moderator on it? Yeah. <laughs> That's great. I now don't... the only post on it is from Violet. And it's the post is, does anyone else hate Zen Rotten Violet? <laughs> <laughs> I like that she left all fish from there. <laughs> And it's, it's, but the only people that commented in that thread are Violet, me, and Fish. <laughs> Three comments. That's really good. That's funny. Oh, it's really funny. You know what? Uh, says, does anyone else hate Zenron and Violet Bunny? And she put like seven question marks after that. <laughs> God, I'm gonna link the shit to you because it's actually really funny. All right, now I need to. Whoop. I'm gonna quickly see it. Is there like any like artwork on this Reddit, by the way? Oh no. Oh, perfect. So there's no. You didn't get. You didn't call, call in Conell to give a little of a. Come in and make the style sheet. No, I can't say oh, we did. Oh, I need to be invited. <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> Can I message the mods? Oh my god. Let, Let me in. Are both mods still too? Alright, later on I'm gonna message it. Just a message that just says, Let me in. <laughs> Let me in. The best part about this shit is three years ago, mm -hmm. but the post that Violet posted it was a year ago. She waited two years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Violet is so fucking funny. I know, that's great. She is. So there you go. We finally got some mod stories. It's a it's a shame because I think I, we really could just do an entire episode on just actual mod stories that we've gone through. But we'll save that for more uh, to be releases in the future. How about that? Yeah, that's, that's fair. Yeah. But thank you for the question, Nighthawk. You finally got Zen to tell us one of the mod stories. Uh, next question. We only got two questions left, so let's answer these two. Lodestar, what are your thoughts on a guaranteed LR step up summons and Dokkan? I think they should probably advertise it <laughs> a little bit more. Probably, yeah. It's not cool to drop that shit off. I mean, it, no, I'm not a fan of dropping it out of nowhere. Like, they just tried to fucking cuck everybody. Yeah, that's the problem is that where it feels like now it does feel like a cuck move, but I do like it. It's one of those things of like it's a shitty thing that you waited this long, but it's because it's so beneficial to people. <laughs> and I think yeah, they also really, but it, it's just like legends with the twenty four hour sales. Yeah, no, because you spend all your shit, and then Dogon's like, "Hey, look at this! That's way better than all that shit that you just tried to 
get a minute ago. Yeah, I know that you just literally wasted your entire supply trying to get uh, Zamasu um, trunks and also the LRs that we previously released, but here's a free LR for all those interested. I think they could definitely handle it better, and to be fair, I do feel like I was like, they're probably going to drop one, but then I let my guard down, and so I lost a bunch of like my, my stash for specifically that banner. That sucks. It sucks. It is what it is, but I do think that in general... It's a good thing. They don't happen very often, so they don't feel like it's always like they wait. Basically, what I'm saying is that they wait enough time to put the newer LRs in there, which I like. They don't, but they don't do it like every other like month or so. So you don't always go like, oh, when are they adding the new LRs? They wait long enough for it to be like, no, it's time. We can put in some new LRs. It's cool. <laughs> but uh, yeah, 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 it just sucks that it feels like they're out to get you. That's the only yeah. thing. It could it could be handled better. I think it's like it's like when trying to it's like breaking up with a person after they got hit by a car. You're you could probably <laughs> wait a little bit, right? Yeah, there's never a good time to do that. Yeah, exactly. That or that yeah, that or you can break up with them, but then as they're recovering from being hit by a car, give them like a hand job or something. So that way you feel a little bit better about the process. <laughs> Yeah, at least that way they're kind of happy. Because then you're like, I guess that's that form of a hand jump was 30 stones. So it was a very, <laughs> it was a very quick and hard one. So whatever. It's like, yeah, I'll see. It's not, uh, it's not particularly enjoyable, but you still came. So yeah. So I'm like, thanks, Dokkan. <laughs> and then Dokkan sees like, see you later. Get feel better by All getting right, hit. Bye now. Bye now. <laughs> Uh, thank you for the question. And the last question gets from, uh, is from Bunny Yo. And he asked, hopefully, hopefully this gets answered, but ham or turkey? Uh, turkey. Mm, I'm trying to think of like, I think I feel about the same. I think I might just eat ham, but that's because I'm just used to having more ham. If that makes sense. Ham is like my least favorite pork based Ham is what they put on. Ham is what they put on Lunchables, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right then. That, then I'm gonna have to go with ham because I eat a lot of Lunchables. <laughs> that's uh, that's how I choose to weigh down the scale. <laughs> so we got turkey for Zen and then ham for me. Like I like, um, I like pork chops and like bacon, but I'm not a big ham. I think maybe it's because my family only makes like brown sugar ham. Oh. So I'm like, this is meat. So I, I mean, I don't know. I don't really like like sugar ham that much. So if you meant like lunch meat, probably still turkey. But you know, yeah, yeah, uh, overwhelmingly so. All right, I think that that then that answers all our questions. Thank you for the questions. Again, as always, ask any questions that you have on the YouTube channel, or you can just wait for me to ask for some questions. Uh, this is another episode. Oh, Zen, for the first time, you're going to actually hear the ending of the episode. I introduced it while you were gone. Oh my god. All right. All right. Let me quickly pile it up. Why don't you say goodbye to the people now as I uh, look for it? Bye, people. You can probably do a little bit of longer goodbye because I'm trying to remember where the fuck I saved it. Uh... Uh, goodbye, everybody. Make sure you play JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Pitter Patter Pop. It's a really good game shit from the japanese itunes store or from uh ku app is that how you fucking pronounce it I that don't is know. how you pronounce but it but if it is ku app on the android or japanese itunes store i'm good and also get to city of final fantasy also really fucking good i mean that's fair all right i think i finally found it okay <laughs> good i was running out of shit to say i mean i assume this is it god damn it why can't people just post the actual quote because I'm tired of these people. Okay, I found it. Okay, ready? Yes. All right, everyone. It's me, Wug, here talking to you about Dokkan. Kids, don't be afraid to say no. Anyone who asks you to play Dokkan is not your friends. Dokkan can and will kill. Remember, don't be afraid to turn to your priest, your rabbi, your minister, your mom, your dad, your teacher. Because Dokkan can kill. And if you do play Dokkan, you go to hell before you die. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Now you need to you need to end that with the sonic. That's 
no good. <laughs> God damn it. All right, fine. Bet.